Okay, I got the scissors. Go ahead and open this up. This is the uh, newest addition to the SH Figure Arts line, uh, Android number 16. Looks pretty good, actually. Wow. Yep, he looks pretty darn good. Cool. Um, we'll set him up here. And then let's do the actual update. So, I'm going to start with showing you these in the order that I got them. Um, I'm going to move this down to here. Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. Uh, this was my first SH Figure Arts ever. I got him last year in January. He had already been discontinued for I think about a year or two. I was extremely lucky to get him. He was at the uh, place that I go to in Erie, just pile behind stuff, pretty much hidden. Uh, so, glad I spotted them. Um, this box is, eh, it's in okay shape. Um, yeah, this was what started my collection. Set him over there. At the end of this, I'm going to do a video of the entire collection like I did before. Um, but let's see, who was the next one that I got? Have to think about this for a second. I believe. Yep, I'm pretty confident. The uh, next two that I got were these two. Perfect Cell. Uh, yep. Trying to figure out the other way to get here. Yep, perfect cell. This was the next one that I got. Um, nice looking figure. All of these SH figure hearts are amazing. There's the side of the box. There's the back. That was my second one. And I got this one at the exact same time. I'll put it to my villains. So glad I picked this up. I, I had seen Cell and Frieza multiple times. And I passed on them like... Probably four or five times before I finally bought them. I wasn't sure if I wanted to try to collect the whole entire... Uh, series of SH Figure Arts for Z. Or just the... um Just the Saiyans. So, final form Frieza. Yep, pretty darn awesome. Again, I got this one at Barnes and Nobles. A lot of there's quite a few of these that I got at Barnes and Nobles. So those were my first three. Then at the convention last year. I managed to get this one and this one, right? Yeah. At the convention last year, I got these two. Vegeta. This was a Colossal Con of last year. Colossal Con of this year, I'm hoping to get Vegito. So, 
yeah, hopefully we'll manage to get him. I might pick up Super Saiyan Gohan just because it's a different paint color. I haven't decided if I want to get that in depth. Because if I do, then I'm missing more than one. If I don't, then I'm only missing one from the line, which would be Super Saiyan Vegeta. Because there is an addition. There's the Comic-Con paint Vegeta. There's the Piccolo. And then there's the Goku that are the alternate paint. That would be the whole entire set. But I'm not sure if I want to get that in depth yet or not. So, yeah. Vegeta was my next one. Along with Super Saiyan Goku. Is that supposed to be the Colossal Con? I'm hoping they increase the uh, release of these because... Um, at uh, MatsuriCon, which was only two months later, they had already released uh, two more additional ones that I picked up, which was these two. Non-Super Saiyan Goku. I really like the colors. These are the anime-accurate colors, as opposed to the manga. The other one was the manga accurate color, so there's Son Goku. Here's the back of them. Yep. I'll set him to the side here. And then Piccolo, I managed to get it Matsuri Con too. There is a San Diego Comic Con that has uh, the anime colors as opposed to the manga. It's pretty nice looking. I think they're both pretty nice looking, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I might get the San Diego Comic Con version of Piccolo too. We'll see. I know for a fact that I am definitely going to try to get Super Saiyan Vegeta by the end of this year. It's just really, really expensive, and I hope he doesn't go up anymore, but um, he's just so expensive that it's not something I can buy right now. He is not something I can buy right now. Definitely not. And then... Let's see who else I have sitting over here. Okay. The next one I got was uh, Android 18. I picked her up at Barnes & Nobles. Again. Glad to add her to my collection. And in addition to her... Um, I got this one at Barnes & Nobles as well. You know what? I did not get Android 18 at Barnes & Nobles. I got Android 18 at, uh, the one in Erie. I know that for a fact because she was way more expensive than Barnes & Nobles. Yeah, so, here's Android 17. Side back of them. Just really nice. That was Android 17. And I picked up this in like October of last year. I was I couldn't I couldn't hold out anymore. I wanted them so bad. This is probably my favorite SH figure art and I paid a lot of money for it. This is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. But I didn't pay as much as he is going for now, so that's good. He went up like, I think, $150 after I bought him. So, yeah. Pretty awesome. I really like the colors on Gohan. I really, really do. I might get the other one. I'm still contemplating about it. I probably will, just because I am a big collector, but... 
we'll see. And then I decided to pick this up from Barnes Nobles after passing it up. Uh, he was here when when uh, um, Frieza and Cell were there too. Uh, so you're talking. I probably passed this one up 20, 30 times. And then I finally decided to pick them up. And I'm glad I did because about the time that I decided to pick them up, all of a sudden, the next time I went, all of them were gone. And they had like five of them. So, I'm glad I got them. And I paid nothing compared to what he's going for now. He's already at, he's, he's at a, like $100. I would never pay $100 for Krillin. Sorry. Um, but I did pay $40 for him, so. And then, this was my, well, yeah, this was, actually, Curl and I got after Trunks, because Trunks was the last one that was in my first anime up, or sorry, SH Figure Arts update video. Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts update video. Um, so here is Trunks. Uh, yeah, I was really glad to pick him up. He was an expensive purchase as well. Some of them you just gotta bite the bullet if you want them. I'm gonna have to on Vegeta, and I definitely want him, so I will just have to pay whatever they're asking for him because there's no way to get him anymore unless they uh, re release him, which I don't see that happening at least this year, so. Hopefully, we'll just have to wait and see. I plan, like I said, Vegeta's, I plan on getting by the end of this year. I mean, the only other one that's known for release right now is Vegito. So, if he's the only other one that comes out from the SH Figure Arts Z line, that'll give me six months to come up with the money for Super Saiyan Vegeta. So, there is Trunks. <laughs> He's a rather old, uh, old one. And you can tell because look at the uh, Japanese lettering on the bottom there. Well, I guess some of them do have that. Some of them don't, though. There's Trunks. And my final two that are in my collection. The one I just unboxed, which I'll show you again in better detail, closer up. And this beast, this was an, this is just an amazing piece. I don't even know if I can get him. He's so big I can't even get him all in the video unless I do this. Huh. Here's the side of him. And then here's the back. I'm trying to get all the way up to the top. There we go. Whoa! Okay, that was not good. Uh, centipede. Yeah, I don't like centipedes at all, so. Yeah. That. I hate centipedes because you can smash them and they don't freaking die. No, don't go over there. Okay. So that was Broily. Excuse me one second while I try to kill that centipede right there. Okay, I think it's dead. I hope it's dead. Let's we'll find out. So yeah, he just uh, heard me scream a little bit, but whatever. Back to our video. <laughs> um, Android 16. Uh, here's my final one. And then I'm going to take like three, three minutes? Yeah, no, like two minutes and set these all out. In a nice display for you guys. But here he is. Android 16. He's about this. How big is he in comparison to. Here's Gohan. Yeah he's. He's a little bit bigger than the regular. Figure arts. I was expecting him to be. 
about the size of Cell's box. Is he about the size of Cell's box? He might be. Let me grab Cell's box. Nope, he's smaller than Cell's box. I was expecting him to be about the size of Cell's box, but still, great looking figure. Um, here's the back. Here's the whole gang assembled. And now I'm going to set this up here and start making my nice display of all of them again for you. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's take a minute to figure this out. this around real fast for you guys. pretty good and there they all are all laid out for you uh i'll do another update at the end of this year but uh i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know a lot of you was requesting this so um i decided to do it earlier than i had planned but uh thumbs up if you like the video um like i said i will be unboxing vegito when i get him or when he comes um and, uh, yeah, um, other than that, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Bye.